bought these Dokio solar panels. Uh, these are the 100 watt, 18 volt, suitcase uh, hard sided solar panels. But really what I wanted to show is when you, I'll get a better view here. When you have a battery monitor connected, uh, you're, you're not gonna get a proper um, readout in your battery monitor unless you connect it the correct way. The correct way. So when I first connected, um, not knowing a whole lot about um, solar, um, most people will say just connect it to your positive and your negative and you can charge your batteries. Well, you can do that, but the problem is you're bypassing your battery monitor. So let me show you. I have, um, I think they call it an Ali. And uh, lights are off right now. Probably should have added more lighting in here, but you get the idea. So here is the Ali. These are fantastic. It's been highly reliable. Uh, I've had this for probably about two and a half years. Right How I wired this was uh, I come into the shunt and from the shunt into uh, my pass-through storage of the travel trailer. And then uh, from there uh, in here, I just thought that was kind of the best place to put it. Um, but what you see here is um, you can see voltage going into the um, Ali. And if you click on the amps, this is a uh, amp and amp hour reading right here. You can see that uh, point 0.2, which is not a lot, but it's pretty cloudy right now. So, um, but you can see that it is working and the amp hours is um it's probably a little off um, as i mentioned that i, I had this connected um, bypassing the shunt previously so it, it's kind of off right now so it's probably a little bit higher um, because the voltage is about 12.5 and it will it should go up to about 12.7 12.73 something like that which is a full charge before i knew what I was doing, I, I had that on the charge for a little bit yesterday and most of the morning before I fixed that issue. So um, with that kind of a monitor, it's a little bit of a dumb monitor, um, but it, it's highly reliable once you get it set up. And the way that you have to set it up is you charge your batteries to a full state and then when that gauge in there that you saw goes dim, you hold down the percentage and then that tells the um, controller that it's it's got a full charge um, but that's how you set it and then after that it's done and I've had it that way for at least two years and it's highly reliable in fact we were all the way out to uh, Wyoming I live in southern Alabama last year and it was uh, three weeks of dry camping and it was it was spot on with its percentages and these are lead acid the Trojan um, T105s so uh, with lead acid, you can only take those down to 50%. And so that's why I really like to know where the battery state is at. You can't really, really rely on those um, stock ones that come with the RV because it doesn't really give you any information and there's really no way to know what your voltage is or your ampage. And um, this, I can see exactly what my amp hour rating is um, and the charge of state or state of charge rather. And so it's pretty reliable. But anyways, I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to make a couple changes to this. Um, now that I know how, it, how it's connected, what I'm going to do is get one of those um, SAE uh, quick attach uh, battery connects. And um, so what I'll do is I'll have to run one. Oh, what I didn't show you is the, um, that battery monitor, which is the Ali, and I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, they have other ones, but the other ones are pretty expensive this one I think is about 50 bucks and so um, but let me show you so right there is where I put the shunt you do see a little bit of rust but I think that's because that bottom right hole down there um, is leaking which when I put that cover back on and put the quick connect uh, I'll fix that but what you see is the negative is attached to the shunt um, the side that goes to the ground and so you see that wire that comes out that's I don't know if you can see that, but that's where the ground goes. You don't want to connect it directly to the battery's negative. It has to go after the negative where the shunt is connected to the ground. And that's how the monitor is going to be able to see the, the energy going back into the RV. Um, what I like about this monitor is... Um,
compared to other, I guess, knockoff ones that are um, not so expensive. Um, Victron is the one that a lot of people like to go to. I would love to have that, but this right here, again, it's been highly reliable and it works. Now this measures the voltage in both directions. Most of the cheaper ones, you have to make a decision. Do you want to see the voltage going into the RV or out of the RV? So it's only one way. This I can tell exactly what's going into the RV. Um, so when I'm plugged into shore power, I can see how many volts are going in at that exact time and how many amps. And so right now I'm getting 12.6 volts going back in to the battery and the amperage is pretty low. Um, again, it's pretty cloudy, but when I'm plugged into shore power, um, it's not uncommon to see this thing up near the 20, um, 25 amps, which is pretty good. Again, these are the Trojans, so they, they like that high amperage and high voltage. And it's a three-stage charger as well, so um, it starts off with a bulk charge, I think something like 14, no, 13.6, and, and then it, it floats somewhere around 13.5. Um, that's where it ends up, 13.5, somewhere on there, 13.47. So that's per spec, actually. So anyways, I'll do another video when I have better weather. I will uh, do a video as well on how well these Dokios are working. I purchased these because we're getting ready to go on a camping trip to the Smoky Mountains, and it's uh, eight days of, of uh, dry camping in uh, Cades Cove. But I think the spot we've got is going to be a spot that... Um, from what I recall, we've been there a few times. It's nice. Um, has quite a bit of sunlight facing the uh, the west. And so the second half of the day, we should get quite a bit of sun. So um, we've got a generator too, but if we're out and about, um, it's kind of nice just to leave these panels set up. And um, I think it's gonna do quite well. So we'll find out. I couldn't find any videos online that talks about connecting one of these portable solar panels up to a battery system when you've got a um, battery monitor in there. And that was kind of a big deal because it's been huge to us and we rely on that pretty heavily when we do dry camping. So um, with this connected now, I'll be able to rely on that and I can see what kind of amperage goes back in there. And I'll have a better gauge on how, um, how long it takes to charge these batteries with these panels. I'm not really expecting them to charge them fully, but we'll find out. Just a quick look at these Dokios. They do come with a charge controller, but they're just the basic PWM. Uh, all the other videos really did not give a good look at this, but here's what you got. It's just a basic solar charge controller. I apologize right now for the uh, road noise. This one comes with the alligator clips and this part of the set. And uh, you know, this obviously is right where the solar connects. This is goes this is the connector to your batteries. Um, this is if you wanted to connect um, directly to a light source or power something directly. It does have the USB. I don't really plan on using that. It doesn't really mean anything to me. So no um, temp sensor on there, which is unfortunate, but I'm not really sure how necessary that's going to be. This is only a 100 watt solar panel. If I decide to get another one, um, I'll probably upgrade to the MPPT. Um, I may end up doing that eventually anyhow, just because you get more amperage out of them, which is really what I need. So anyways, that's a quick look at the solar charge controller. There, there wasn't a whole lot of videos that I could see. They gave a good look at this. And also there was really no videos on talking about the monitor. So I think that's it for now. And um, I'll do another follow-up video uh, on how the panels are doing with the amperage um, volts going back in as well as when we go to the Smokies and how well they do there.